you very much. Now, over the last 30 years, there has been a huge drop in our pollinator population because of loss of habitat, pests, pop pollution, and changing climate, especially here in Rhode Island. Now, you can help restore these essential habitats for bees, butterflies, and the creatures that pollinate the food we eat right in your own backyard. Chef Anna Rossi partnered with Walmart to share some easy ways to create pollinator buzz in your garden. As a chef and as a mom, I spent a lot of time shopping and cooking for the hungry people in this house. And believe it or not, it is estimated that one in three bites of food we take is thanks to animal pollinators. That's why it is more important now than ever to support our friends like the butterflies, the hummingbirds, and the beetles. And we can do that at home by creating a pollinator garden. It's easier than you think. Let me show you. And you don't even need a green thumb. All you have to do is look for this pollinator tag in the Walmart Garden Center. These are the types of flowers that bees, hummingbirds, and butterflies thrive on. There are so many beautiful plants to choose from, from salvia, snapdragons, and dahlia. Lavender and echinacea are a couple of my favorites also. No matter how large or small your green space is, there is a way to create a pollinator destination. And fresh herbs are a great choice too. They're great in your cooking, keep them by your grill, but when they bloom, herbs like dill, parsley, and mint, they become a great nectar source. Pollinators need water, so quench their thirst with a beautiful bird bath. To give the bees and insects something to rest on, add some stone in the center and fill it halfway full with water. Hummingbirds also love this. And if you wanna make the butterflies happy, add a little compost and sand because they love sipping on that mineral rich water. And remember, when you garden with pollinator friendly plants, you're helping build a greener, more sustainable future with delicious food, beautiful flowers, and everything else that depends on this important member of our animal species. Plus, it's really good exercise. Oh, and see that QR code right there? We'll open up your phone to the camera setting and scan it. It will help you see all the pollinator plants and any garden tools you'll need at Walmart. It's so easy. Walmart's pollinator plan is a real commitment to change for the better. They want to source 100% of their fresh produce and floral from suppliers that adopt integrated pest management practices by 2025. They want to avoid selling any invasive plant species and they're encouraging their produce suppliers to phase out certain pesticides and protect, restore, or establish pollinator habitats by 2025 on at least 3% of the land they own or operate. And get the kids involved. Use those worker bees. Just remind them who the queen bee is. Thank you so much, Anna. And get out and garden. Now, for more information, you can head to roadshow.com for a link to that pollinator.